The go to queue command will let us quickly jump from one queue to another in or out of sequence. Let's look at some of the ways we can use the go to queue button. The go to queue button here is different from our queue button in that go to queue is a command and our queue button is a record target. If I type go to queue out, enter, go to queue out will put us at the top of a queue list with the first queue pending. It will set all of our non-intensity parameters to their home values. I also have the option to use go to queue zero, enter. This will also reset to the top of our queue list and put the first queue into pending, but it will not affect any of our non-intensity parameters. It will only take intensity values to zero, leaving everything else where it was before the command. I can use go to queue to go into any queue that we need to. For example, I can say go to queue five, enter. This is going to use a default go to queue time, which is determined in setup. I can go to a queue in the timing of that queue by appending the word time at the end of the command line. For example, go to queue four, time, enter, will use the timing associated with queue four. I can also go to queue next or last, and I can continue to press next and last to switch my queue numbering. I can also use go to queue to go to a queue in a timing of my choosing. For example, go to queue one, time two, enter, will take me there in two seconds instead of the default go to queue time or the timing of the queue. I can also refresh the current queue with the command go to queue, enter.